Hello, I'm Chef Eric Longini, an instructor at the Escoffier School of Culinary Arts in Boulder, and I'm here to show you how to do cube cuts on a potato. The first cut I like to make is square off the ends, and then we will start taking off the sides to give it some stability, and uh, when we work from a square or rectangular item at the beginning, it will help us achieve the shapes that we are looking for in the end. Once you have this squared off, um, don't worry if it's not exact because we will uh, modify it as we go. Uh, when we start, let's start with a large dice. So a large dice is um, about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. If you're having a difficult time getting the knife in accurately, start with the tip of the knife on the board and work your way to about three quarters of an inch. Then get your knife into the product and it helps if you look down um, straight at the spine of the knife and when you can only see the spine it tells you that you're holding the knife straight and you can begin your cut down. Once we have that we'll go ahead and cut this into a piece that's of equal size. Use your best judgment. And from there, we'll go ahead and make our cubes. There we go. Next, we'll do a medium dice. Um, we'll only be able to get one out of this. Um, medium dice is about a half of an inch by a half of an inch by a half of an inch. We should be able to get two, looks like. And again, get it at about a 45 degree angle to yourself and get those fingers curled so we don't cut them. Whoops. And try not to cut the product you're working on. All right, on our next potato, I'll show you small dice, brunoise, and fine brunoise. And for our small dice, we want to go about a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch. Again, I start at the very edge of it, getting my knife into the product and then working down through it. When you have that one edge of your knife on the board, um, it makes it easier to adjust to the proper line because you only have one point of motion. small dice. Next we will do the brunoise, which is an eighth of an inch by an eighth of an inch by an eighth of an inch. And I find as you start to get into the smaller cuts, they actually start to get easier um, because you're working with more product at once. Um, you're also making more progress at once. There we have our brunoise, and then our fine brunoise. And we want to cut this fairly thin, about a sixteenth of an inch by a sixteenth by a sixteenth. This one gets a little tough. As you can see, I actually made it a little too thin there, so we'll go ahead and cut another one. We want to have both sides of that plank that we're making of equal thickness. Straighten out your sticks. Making sure to keep that hand behind at all times. And there we have our room. Fine room. This has been Cube Cuts on a Potato with Chef Eric Longini. I hope you've enjoyed the information and have a great day.